Uh, hello guys, uh, in this tutorial we'll uh, discuss how to handle drop down list in a web page. So here I want to let you know that in web uh, driver we have a like specific class for handling those drop downs. Like uh, that class is known as select. So by using that select class we can handle the drop downs in a web page. So uh, here uh, let's start with coding or script. Okay, I already have. So this one. Let's create a new project, new Java project. Uh, I'm giving it a name of drop down. Okay. Now in this we'll create a new. Okay, we create a new class. main method in this class okay now uh, before starting the script uh, let's uh, import the uh, selenium web driver jar files okay so right, right click anywhere like build path configure build path which i've already told you um, libraries add external jars and select all the jar files okay. now click okay so all our jar files have been added to this project uh, here you can see reference libraries it means all the jar files are not part of this project now we can start uh, writing the script so, so uh, let's create an instance of web driver browser we want to use like we want to use Firefox browser so Firefox browser okay oh, sorry uh, Firefox driver okay so let's import the package for this class uh, web uh, this now this is like coming from this web driver class coming from this package and let's import another class for this or another package for this so okay now we are done so uh, now uh, we need to open a web page where we are handling the drop down list so here i'll be using this facebook page right so here you can see here we have three drop downs so we want to select some specific value in these drop downs during our automation script so i will i'll let you know how to handle these drop downs okay so uh, we'll open this web page driver get okay and pass the url now it will open this and we need to maximize the page driver dot manage so this will maximize our web base okay so now uh, let's wait for some time I'll use Java uh, sleep method we can use implicit wait command as well uh, which I'll let you know later or uh, uh, in my previous tutorials I have already used that if you want to see okay, so let's wait for four seconds by the time that the page will open so it will throw an exception simply we can do this add through uh, so it's throwing the exception okay now that web page has opened right so here now we need to use the select uh, class right so first of all select so select by value it's a variable name i'm giving okay select by value so i'll let you know uh, why i gave this name it's a meaningful name so let's use new select and in this now we are instantiating this variable after declaring this variable so that we can use it later now we'll use the same procedure to uh, 
locating a web element right driver dot find element by dot id okay so this and here we pass that id so let's go to this page and uh, inspect element click on file inspect element and here if you will see so here this uh, select uh, drop down list has the id month right so this is a web element so, like drop down list so this has the id month okay so let's go back to the script so it's month right so now we have but we need to import this right okay so now we have this uh, select uh, class which is coming from this package and now uh, to use this variable now we have three java methods right which we can use oh sorry i'll show you here so the, those three methods are which we can use with this class select by value okay the first one second one is select by uh, select by value select by given text right so select by visible text so this is visible text and the third one is select by index okay so we have these three methods which we can use uh, with respect to this class and they will use the like they will give the same results okay so let's use them one by one okay so here we'll see now we have this variable reference variable for this class so we'll use this variable sb value right so dot select see here those uh, methods are there select by index select by value select by visible text so first we'll use select by value okay so whatever the value you want to use so it's here Mm, let's go here you can see this drop down has number of options which has values right so if you want to select april in the drop down we we can pass four for may we can pass five so let's uh, the value is four so let's pass this suppose i want to select four right april so now this is done okay Okay, let's run this script first. Okay, I'm going to close my third after. Try to see. Uh, four seconds. After four seconds, it will uh, close this web browser instance. Let's run this script and we'll see how it is working. okay so as of now it's not working dot so let's see so let's run it again and see what is the problem here i think it's correct i don't think any issues there because it should display april in the drop down in this drop down april should come okay now it's coming so it's working fine so now we, we show how selected by value uh, select by value uh, your command is working now we'll see uh, the second command okay so let's see select sb visible text Okay, so same thing. We need to, we need to select. 
correct okay and then we see driver dot find element by id okay and in this id uh, the id is i think day for that month after month it's day let's go check so here uh, click on this and click on the second drop down so id is day correct and uh, which same it has the uh, value uh, but here we are using select by visible text so visible text is this these things one two three four okay so let's see uh, let's go back to the script um, this day id is day and uh, sb sm visible text dot select by visible text so which is here like uh, for anything you can select like uh, let's enter six okay and here it will uh, in the second drop down it will show six and let's see in the third drop down what you want to show any of like around two thousand okay so uh, this one will use by uh, third method index but index it will be little hard for us but let's see okay okay and the same thing select sp select by index and then new Here you can see third drop down year. So it's year and uh, SV index dot select by index. So index now we need to check it's like what is the index for that. Let's go and try to figure out. So here you can see select is year. So from here if you start 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so i'm assuming it's 15th or 16th let's give 16 let's pass 16 here okay and uh, let's run this program and check so now it will display april 6 2000 uh, April 6 2001 so if you want to see 2000 then uh, we can change the index uh, we can make it 17 okay so if you learn then it will show you the correct results April 6 2000 here you go see we have now correct results so now we know how to handle drop downs in a web page and thanks for watching guys um, if you like it please like it and subscribe my channel for upcoming tutorials thanks